You're listening to Boca Chamber Radio, and we have a business spotlight today. This is Allison Muccio, and we are talking with Jennifer Jolly, who is the Director of Marketing for Boca Grove. And the first thing I'm going to say and go right into is, it's not your grandfather's country club, is it, Jennifer? No, it's not. So tell us tell us a little bit about the country club, where it is, maybe some of the history. Uh, yeah, the club actually started in 1983 as a golf club. We were um, Gary Player's first American home, which is one of our claim to fames. We also started what you guys know today as the Senior Classic, which there is one held here in Boca in February oh, sure. each year. Sure, mm-hmm. That was originally called the Quadril, and we were the host um, course for it, 1983 and 1984. So we have a lot of history in golf. We are a very um, strong golf club. We pride ourselves on the fact that we don't have uh, tee times. So we try to keep our membership small and our golf members proportionate so that when you show up, whether it's 9 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, you just step on the golf course and you can golf. So from that perspective, we are a little bit like your grandfather's golf club. What makes us different is that instead of the old Mr. and Mrs. and the very proper greetings and the formal clothing, we're, we're much more relaxed than we used to be. We call our members by their first names. We treat them as friends and family, uh, cognizant still of the, they're not your friends, you're friendly, right? Because at the end of the day, they're my owners. Right. So how a country club works, it's equity country club. We have 440 homes. So those members are my bosses. Mm-hmm. So you have that kind of thing you still have to work with, but it is much more casual. They look at things more than just golf. They're interested in food and dining, of course. They're interested in the social aspect of the club, building camaraderie, creating friendships that last a lifetime. The other interesting thing about Boca Grove is our members, most of them have been there over 20 years, which is sort of interesting. We've had um, families come through where you'll have the grandparents and the parents, and now you're now the grandchildren are having their kids, and they're now moving to Boca Grove. So it is kind of a tight-knit little, we call it a, a boutique club, and I think that's part of why we do that. We have 125 children, which is very unusual, especially mm-hmm. given we are, we are small. But part of that is, you know, you all know being here in Boca, we're in the best possible school district, and right. we have a fantastic location. We're right there at um, Glades Road where the turnpike that is, um, that is a great location, and it's easy to find because their signage is wonderful. And and you you have to tell us about Boca Grove as far as the history of why it's called Boca Grove. That's very important, and thank you for that because I just started as the marketing director in June, and one of the things that blew me away was this huge history we have in oranges. We were an orange grove, mm-hmm. and the members. It's kind of comical and. They may not like that I'm telling you the story, but it's the truth. So the truth is the truth. (laughs) But, um, you know, we were very proud of that history. And we had oranges on our logo. And we talked about the orange groves. And oranges were everywhere. And as I'm going through old history and old pictures, and we have all this stuff, and I'm so excited because the other thing about country clubs now is they're all about sustainability. Right. So where before we didn't care what kind of, you know, products we use in our golf courses as long as the grass was green. We mm-hmm. didn't care how it affected the environment. We care very much about that now. Mm-hmm. So having orange groves and having honeybees and having bats and all these different things that sort of help to bring that sustainability together, I was to- I'm geeked, completely excited and freaked <laughs> out about this whole orange thing. And then I had this group of members like, oh, no, you can't talk about the orange groves. We had canker in the 90s. Well, I don't care. That was the 90s. I don't think anybody cares. <laughs> no, but that's funny. I know. That's funny. So they went through this this thing where they, um, we have, you know, upgraded our, our logo and all of those things to make them fresh and exciting and young. And I actually do really like our logo. But I still think we need that iconic brand back with the orange. And I'm working on that. So Good. thank you. I well, I know you are. And I can g- give an, a perfect example is we had a... Um, we have a trustee membership, and we had a lunch there, which, by the way, the food was phenomenal, and I know you're going to talk more about that. But as we were leaving, and this is not something that usually happens, um, everybody got a gift, and the gift was very reminiscent of your name, and it was awesome, and I want you to tell everybody what the gift was. Sure, sure. So uh, we decided to give you all um, orange blossom-infused honey. There's a couple of things about that. Um, we don't have the bees yet, but we are getting bees oh, great. beginning in January. That and is we will start. wonderful. Yeah, we're really excited. So our, our golf course superintendent is helping me build the area. And then we've got this woman. Um, her name is Sierra. She owns Sierra Bees, and she'll be the actual keeper oh, that will manage it. And the intent will be that we'll start planting more orange trees back at Boca Grove. We have this berm that we just 
fixed up. And because the bees, they get their flavor from fi- like a 50 mile radius. Right. So we want to have as many orange trees around them so they can mm-hmm. get to those blossoms. But in the meantime, since we don't have our own honey and we don't have the orange trees yet, our chef did that. So Chef Dominic um, is an award winning chef that we do have uh, at Boca Grove. And he is really the heart and soul of the club because people come for the food. At the end of the day, you know, they're going to, they, they, they come, they, they fill the restaurant morning, noon, night. So he, what he did was he just took local honey that he purchased, I think from Broken Sound. They already have a little oh. plug for Broken Sound. John Crean, hello. <laughs> um, sorry, Michael. But um, they, they have a, um, they have their honey and I think he took their honey and he infused it with you know, with orange. That's great. And I know you have so much more to talk about. And we're going to talk about that in further episodes of Jennifer Jolly with Boca Grove. But in the meantime, this is Allison Muccio for Boca Chamber Radio. And thanks for listening.